Given an array of integers, return how many of them contain an even number of digits. How can you do that? That's about today's video. Let's dive in. San Francisco Bay Area, or Silicon Valley. This is where my dream started. Hi everyone, this is Steve here. Today we're going through another legal problem, um, 1295, find numbers with even number of digits. Uh, this is a pretty simple, um, simple problem, um, really easy. So let's quickly go through the problem description. Given an array nums of integers written, how many of them contain an even number of digits? Um, there is no further explanation needed. So let's just uh, walk through the example. 12, um, 345, we're given these five numbers in this array. The output is two. Why two? Because there are only two numbers in this given array that contain even number of digits, right? There are 12 and uh, uh, this 7,896. The, the other three numbers, they all contain odd number of digits. This one contains three digits. This one has one. This one has one. This one has two digits, two digits, which is even. This one has four digits, which is even. That's why the output is, output is two. And, and this one, um, the second example, it's giving us um, four numbers and the output is one because there's only one number that contains even number of digits, which is the last number. It has four digits. Um, there is no um, fancy or any <laughs> fancy algorithm to solve this problem. We basically just need to go through this given array once and for every single number, we're just uh, uh, do a quick check whether this number has an even number of digits. If it does, we'll just add that number to the final result. And then in the end, after we iterate through this entire integer array, we'll just return the count. We'll just quickly code up this problem. Uh, int count equals zero and four int num nums. Check if we can use this API value of a num which is going to um, parse this integer into a string format. Then we can call this API of the string of the string object and then do a modular to see whether this the length of this integer is even. If it's even, then we'll just uh, count it. Um, otherwise, we'll just ignore and continue to um, iterate through it. And then in the end, we'll just return count. That's it. Um, this uh, this one basically serves as a warm up exercise during one of the contests that happened last week or the week before. Um, as and so it's usually one easy problem, two medium problems, and a one hard problem during one contest. So this one showed up as the first easy problem. They basically to help people to warm up. That's it. Uh, let's hit submit and see. Hmm. Cannot find symbol. I guess it's. There is a parenthesis here. Submit it again. All right, accept it. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's the entire algorithm. There is nothing too much to talk about. As long there are multiple ways that you can get the number of digits for any given integer number. Um, I'm writing in Java, so I'm just using one. That there are other ways you can also use. Um, the integer object. There are multiple APIs for the integer object that you can call to get the number of the digits for this number. Yeah, that's it for this problem. Uh, very simple and straightforward again. And, and also it's very unlikely that you are going to encounter such a, an easy problem during your interview, unless it's like a, an internship or like a very junior position and it serves only as a pre pre phone screen to just screen out candidates that don't know what is iteration, what is programming at all. This is very uh, rare to encounter in real situations. Anyway, uh, please do me a favor and hit the like button and don't, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and, and tap the bell notification so each time when I publish a new video, you are not going to miss out on anything. That's it for today's video. I'll see you guys in the next one.